the end of our of our uh, fourth visit here, and uh, I just want to tell you, uh, uh, I was here a long time ago, uh, mid '90s. I uh, stopped in Dubrovnik for the first time, and I was a young lieutenant, and I was really uh, looking forward to this visit. I know the crew was also, uh, and by all accounts, uh, you know, split in the whole area, just lived up to uh, everybody's expectations. They they really enjoyed their time. Uh, really had a, uh, a a great a great visit for all. Uh, so. We're we on the way today, but uh, I'm happy to take any questions uh, on, on, on any topics about our visit or, or, or our operations out here in the, on this deployment. But it is a warship, uh, this is a flight deck, and what I'd like to do is uh, uh, I, I'll, I'll like turn it over to the captain of the ship, uh, uh, Captain Polar. He can tell you a bit about the flight deck uh, and, the, and the aircraft that he carries and sit right here. The, uh, good morning. Uh, my name is Dave Pollard. I'm the commanding officer of the USS George Herbert Walker Bush. It's great to be back in Croatia. The first time I visited was in 2000. Uh, since then, this is my seventh visit to Croatia. I've uh, been to Dubrovnik here in Split multiple times. I was a commanding officer of USS Mount Whitney, and we brought uh, Mount Whitney here last summer uh, in 2021. And you were a great host. I was able to bring my crew of civilian mariners. Uh, and sailors uh, to split. Absolutely loved it as well as my family for the first time uh, last year. And it's great to bring the 5,000 sailors that we have on board the ship uh, to Croatia to enjoy the, the rich uh, history and culture that we have, uh, that you have. Uh, we were able to send our sailors down to uh, Dubrovnik uh, as far out as uh, Kirka Falls. Uh, and then we did uh, some community relations projects while we were here as well, which was great with the elementary schools. We did the similar when we were here last time. So it's great to, uh, to integrate with the community and uh, to meet so many uh, fantastic people. Deck. Yes, sir. Uh, <laughs> with respect to the flight deck, uh, welcome to the warship. This is a, we have four catapults uh, that we have. You're standing on uh, a joint blast deflector right here. Uh, two of them on the waist. Uh, two of them up on the bow. We typically uh, we will uh, launch uh, four aircraft in less than about a minute and a half and reload these catapults in a little less than two minutes. Uh, typically do about a hundred sorties a day, so fly about a hundred aircraft off the aircraft carrier a day. We're capable of 24-hour operations, which we uh, do routinely uh, with both our helicopters and uh, our strike fighters that we have on board. Just over 70 aircraft total uh, with a complement of helicopters that you can see here, as well as the uh, F-18E, -E, F, and G. Uh, those are uh, both single-seat and two-seat uh, airplanes. Uh, uh, exercise Neptune Strike, uh, that was a NATO uh, exercise where the entire strike group from just a carrier, but also uh, the rest of the ships of my strike group uh, were uh, transitioned under NATO authority. So we worked for Strike for NATO uh, Command out of, out of Lisbon. Uh, and uh, participated with uh, uh, over 24 of our NATO allies to include Croatia. We, uh, we operated with uh, uh, the, the warship Croatia, which is one of the ships that uh, right out of uh, uh, Dubrovnik. A uh, message that uh, you know, we, uh, you know, we, we, we stand with NATO, we stand with our allies, and that uh, we're stronger uh, when we operate together. Uh, you know, 30 nations with a common purpose, uh, you know, common purpose, common ideals, uh, uh, certainly uh, uh, the, probably the, the strongest, best alliance in the history of mankind, over 70 years of, of, of peace and stability because of, of what NATO and our, and our allies have provided. From Raleigh, North Carolina, I'm assigned to VAQ 140 here on the uh, Georgia Chevy Bush part of Carrier Air Wing 7. Uh, we're an electronic attack squadron, uh, so we're flying, none of our jets are down here in the uh, hangar bay, but up on the deck you may have seen the two-seat jets with the large wingtips. Those are our aircraft, the uh, E-18G. Going out to uh, deny the enemies the electromagnetic spectrum, uh, and keep all of our other guys safe. Yeah, uh, Observer. Observer. Yep. Uh, what questions do you guys have? Uh, is it proud? Are we proud? Uh, very. It's uh, it's awesome to be here and be out representing America and working with other NATO allies. I've gotten to do quite a few uh, flights going out and working with other countries. I actually. Uh, the other night when we had some bad weather, I got to land in Dubrovnik and stay there for the night. So this is my second trip to Croatia. Um, it's been it's been really great so far. We're all really happy to be here. Do you like Croatia? Yeah. Do what? Do you like Croatia? What have you seen? I've loved <clears throat> Croatia so far. Uh, it was awesome. Got to go downtown, and then uh, we had a house about 20 minutes away, kind of calmer little beach area. So that's a nice change from being on the boat for a little while. I'm happy to have you guys here today. Um, my name is Lieutenant Sarah Houston, H-U-S-T-O-N. Call sign Tinda. 
My background is a helicopter pilot and currently on board George H.W. Bush. I am not flying, however, I am, an, uh, I am a shooter, which means that I am up on the flight deck shooting the jets off um, during each cycle and recovering them. So a little bit about my background, I was born in Rochester Hills, Michigan and uh, went to the University of Michigan. Once I graduated from my university, I went to flight school for two years. Uh, moved out to San Diego, California, where I flew the MH-60 Sierra helicopter off of the Stennis for four years, and then moved out to Virginia, where I was an instructor pilot, uh, teaching newly winged aviators how to fly helicopters. And now I'm stationed on board uh, the Bush, and my main job is uh, up on the flight deck, making sure that everything is safe and everything is calculated properly in order to get our jets airborne uh, safely, as well as recovered safely at the end of their events. Um, I also run the hangar bay, which is where we are right now, um, and I have a division of about 120 sailors who work under me.